dawn of a new exciting travel day, November the 16th, 2019, as seen from the top floor of the Baby Elephant Boutique Hotel in Siem Reap, Cambodia. Oh yeah, it's, it is called the Baby Elephant Boutique Hotel. Oh, that's right. And there are the boutique elephants. We wanted to help the poorest of the poor, and we felt hospitality was the easy way to do it. We started up a little hotel. This little guy here. This oh, is... Oh my goodness, little Lenny. Little Lenny. Little Lenny. Little Lenny. Lenny of CM Reap. Oh my gosh. Who is maybe the cutest dog on the face of the earth, maybe not. In this vlog, we'll be talking about our stay at the Baby Elephant Boutique Hotel, an amazing lady and her two daughters, and a super popular dog on Instagram. You're viewing Travels with Lobo and Barbara, Asia 2020, vlog number 15. By the way, this trip ended as planned, end of January 2020. The world may have been turned upside down since then, but our memories remain. We are now in May 2020, and at the end of this vlog, I have an update on the COVID-19 situation of the Baby Elephant Boutique Hotel. Don't miss it. I do plan to edit out this part of the video at some point in the future, but right now, this crisis is still with us. Having said that, let's turn the clock back to November 2019. <laughs> Baby Elephant Boutique Hotel, located strategically between Pub Street and the Pool Party Hostel, the beautiful hostel where the other members of the Canadian guests to the wedding stayed. The vehicle of choice in Siem Reap is the motorized tuk-tuk, and that's exactly how you might arrive at the Baby Elephant Boutique Hotel. There it is. There is something very warm and welcoming about this lush green entrance. We've arrived at the Baby Elephant Boutique Hotel in Siem Reap. There is the reception area. And this is the way to our room. Let's knock and see whether there's anybody home. Anybody home? Oh, it's Barbara. How are you? Great. Yes, every traveler's concern, the electrical outlets, as you can see, uh, two-pronged and uh, three-pronged. So same as uh, in North America, no problem. However, a power bar with USB ports is advisable. Elephants on the bed, isn't that lovely? Oh yeah, it's, it is called the Baby Elephant Boutique Hotel. Oh, that's right. And there are the boutique elephants on the bed. An extended stay at the Baby Elephant Hotel necessitated that we change rooms to an upgraded room. So here's Barb. Hi. It's quite a bit nicer than our last room because you've got furniture to sit down. There's a bottle of wine that's included, apparently, Barbara swears. <laughs>
bar where you can have sangria for all day for two dollars every day sangria to be enjoyed around this beautiful pool. Barb, feel like jumping in? Yeah, almost. Almost? Not quite. The highlight of our stay, it turns out, was meeting this lady, Carmel Tullock, uh, who had a fascinating story to tell. Well, let's have her tell it. We're at the Baby Elephant Boutique Hotel in Siem Reap, and we're talking with... Carmel. Carmel. And Lenny. And Lenny. Carmel, of course, you have a very special connection to this beautiful hotel. Can you tell us about that? Four and a half years ago. My daughters and I started up a social enterprise here in Siemri to provide employment first and then training and education opportunities for local Khmer people, especially people with from very, we really wanted to help the poorest of the poor and we felt hospitality was the easy way to do it. Exactly. So we started up a little hotel and it has grown from there. You have a beautiful uh, Australian accent. Can you tell us about that? Like, did it happen by accent? No. Oh, <laughs> not really. I happen to be an Aussie. So I'm right. from the land down under. So I was born in Brisbane, the capital Brisbane. of yes, Queensland. Yes. And that's where you have your business in, in I Brisbane? I have a business in Toowoomba, which okay. is around two and a half hours from Brisbane. Oh, yes. And you know, I, the, the, my business in Australia is why we can do this. Ah, exactly. So exactly. I'm very So fortunate. you are one of the entrepreneurial class of society. Absolutely. And that's what, we, what I really am passionate about, is business and entrepreneurship. I have a real passion for business because I think it is a way out of poverty. Absolutely. And, um, Especially here, right? Yes. Absolutely. He bought this little place and there was 1.5 employees. So one full-time, one part-time. Wow. We now have going on to 45 employees. 45 employees. Yeah. And, and your big emphasis, as you said, is training, giving these people some type of background in the hospitality industry. Absolutely. So. And not just hospitality. One of our staff went through university and he is now a five-star manager, wow. five-star hotel. Right. right. Um, we're trying to get one of our staff into electricity training, electrical training. Right, right. Um, there's no degrees here in engineering, but we're also training people across many areas. Right, right. Yeah. That's, uh, that's wonderful that you're doing more than just running a hotel here. And uh, yeah. CM Reap is such an interesting place. So I'd love to introduce you to one of our featured stars. Mr. Channa. Uh, Mr. Channa started working with us when we first opened, and now he has been studying English. He started just helping with housekeeping right. and the artwork, and now he is our head food beverage. Wow. And his English is almost better than mine, almost. <laughs> and he's Congratulations, that's so important. And this hotel is actually run by your daughter, you see? It is. My eldest daughter lives here in Cambodia, yeah. and she's been living in Asia for, I think, maybe seven years. Right, right. She came from Jakarta here to Siem Reap. Wow. And she has a beautiful heart. Yes. But also is really helps us with marketing and does all of the web work, web design, and really our... We look after people. Right. Uh, we not only help our full-time employees here, but we also help our tuk-tuk drivers, tour companies, the laundry. So just by you coming to visit, right. anyone who comes to visit, you know that you are doing a really good thing for our local people. Now we have grown. So we yes. started here at Baby Elephant, and now we have a beautiful little eco-tourism hotel called Be Happy. So Be Happy is an eco-lodge which is totally focused on veganism, 
and health and wellness for travelers. And that's right next door here. Right next door. Right, right. And that is our guest house. So for young travelers or or the young at heart. Yes, uh, um, you, you certainly are. <laughs> we have enough. We have great air conditioning, really good Wi-Fi. Yes. And yes. wonderful, wonderful food. And then we can take you off for a gorgeous massage at our recently established Sugar Spa. Sugar Spa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. which is, guess what? We do the most gorgeous manicures. Oh, wow. Lovely. The product is from Australia. Yes, And yes. we really, I bought the product over. So yesterday I did the rainbow. Yes, Rainbow yes, nails. Yes. Um, our prices are very good. And our staff, again, are coming from the poorest of the poor areas. Wow. Um, yeah. We concentrate in this beauty and spa with yeah, our women's yeah. women who need, you know, they need a hand up. Right, right. Um, so we're training them in the beauty therapy area. We call it our baby elephant herd. So. Well, I'm part of that herd now. You uh, are part of the yes, herd. Yes, I've been herded. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. And. Oh, it's been such a pleasure. So let's talk about this this little guy here. This oh is Oh my goodness, little Lenny. Little Lenny. Little Lenny. Lenny of CM Reap. Oh my gosh. Who is maybe the cutest dog on the face of the earth? Maybe not, but uh, he is cute. He's very cute. <laughs> and and uh, so, you know, I'm looking after Lenny. Oh so yes. So I'm the nana. Guy here who uh, you can find him on Instagram. How many followers? Oh, I think in the thousands. In the thousands, yes. And if not, it's not because Nana doesn't promote him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> we yeah. We all love yeah. our grand furries. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, it's been such a pleasure. Finally, COVID-19, the pandemic, and the Baby Elephant Boutique Hotel. Most importantly, it has not closed during this crisis. I feel almost compelled to say that this is not a paid advertising. I'm just trying to be helpful to people who were very nice to us when we were there. Just click on the pause to read any information panels in further detail. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share if you like. Next Friday is going to be special because we're going to be moving on to Myanmar. Yes, Myanmar. See you next Friday.